Four and more Oregonians struggling to afford homes and find shelter. At 5 o'clock, I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Dinn. The state's new governor, hours into her first day, taking aim at the crisis, declaring a state of emergency on homelessness. Oregon has the fourth highest rate of unsheltered people in the country, according to the governor's office. Lisa Balick, live in Salem, where she talked with the governor. Lisa, it's not just Portland struggling with this issue. No, that's why she's focusing on this. In fact, even mentioning in her executive order that homelessness here in Marion County, Salem has grown by more than 150% in the past few years. It's a pressing problem. She's getting on right away. Oregonians are demanding bold solutions to address this crisis. The governor signing three executive orders, declaring a homelessness state of emergency, ordering 36,000 homes a year be built, and directing all state agencies to focus on reducing homelessness. Kotek acknowledges this won't solve the problem overnight, but she wants $130 million from lawmakers to help build more emergency shelters and provide rent assistance. She's setting up an emergency command team, like in a natural disaster, to quickly determine what's needed, where, and make it easier to get building permits. We're taking too much time, and so that will be a piece of it. It's also going to be about the workforce, who is going to do all this additional housing, how are we going to finance it. But I can tell you right now, we will be talking about streamlining and reducing red tape. The governor's operating out of a temporary office at the state library building while construction is underway at the state capitol. She says it's time to be all in on providing state help to communities struggling with growing homelessness. As rents are rising, more becoming homeless. I asked her, what about more money for mental health services? We are in the midst of developing our budget for the next biennium, behavioral health is a top priority. We have to make sure that when people are ready for services, can we connect in the services? Is the workforce there to serve them? The governor says she's working with Democrats and Republicans on all of this. More details will be coming in her state budget proposal. She'll have out on February 1st. Now, at latest check, there are some 18,000 people around the state who are homeless. That's why the governor says, hey, I've got to get on this fast, and that's what she's doing. We'll keep you posted as things go by. Legislature getting in session a week from today, and again, they'll be focusing on that as well. Live in Salem, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.